session on the topic ultimate global peace and the ultimate global peace and the effect of religion on peace. So Sarah, straight away we want to give the floor to you to carry on with your presentation for today. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ambassador uh, Evelyn uh, and Ambassador Asomba. So good to hear from you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, thank you very much for inviting me for your great training uh, from Cameroon and across the Africa. Uh, I know uh, everybody will rejoice it as we are working very hard to build substantial peace. Uh, so uh, I prepared a short presentation about uh, about Global Peace Building Network and uh, our franchise, and uh, I know you will rejoice it. So uh, thousands of people contact me across the globe and ask me, "What is this uh, Global Peace Building Network? What you are doing? What is your idea?" <laughs> And uh, also, why you work uh, with uh, religious people? Uh, and also, if you have thousands of questions, uh, uh, chat me and ask me in the chat, or there will be a question answer session after the presentation. Okay, so. Um, oh, listen it thousands of times better to see it. So here we are, uh, the Peace Ambassadors uh, awarding across the globe. Uh, you may see, uh, as we award the uh, 90 presidents uh, recently as a Peace Ambassadors and uh, send them roadmap for Peace 2027. We are building substantial peace and we are building it daily. Uh, in the, this Peace Ambassadors Awards, you may see uh, yourself, those who was awarded the Peace Ambassador, and also those who uh, are presi uh, presidents of the new country and all other countries. Uh, for now, uh, as you understand that the world is uh, uh, separated, 1% uh, of population, they have 99% of wealth and power in every country. And all the problems about this, and now, as you see, they are fighting this uh, golden, so-called golden, <laughs> golden uh, person in every country. They are fighting in Eastern Europe and Middle East. Uh, but our is another one. It's building substantial peace. And for now, almost nobody was building peace. You know, everybody who was was saying they are building peace. They was uh, fighting with the wars, and uh, there was no peace. You know, even there was a good, I uh, would uh, say, instrument of peace is what called Olympic. Let's do Olympic and play games. And during this time, nobody fight. And as you see, recently nobody respected. Even at the Olympics, they are fighting, and therefore. It's something more, you know, with the 5% of human potential, as Messiah Sankaming said, it's impossible to build world of peace. Uh, the another 95 is came from God. And this is what our greatest global interfaith, uh, uh, every evening summit, we are praying for peace uh, daily and accelerating God's uh, kingdom daily and world of peace by 2027. There is supposed to be a concrete goal. Because otherwise, you see that um, uh, presidents of every country, uh, if you compare them as a, um, they are driver of the bus, and you ask, where is our bus going? And nobody know. Nobody was knowing that uh, after Corona will start the war in, in even in Europe, you know. And because till now Europe was being very brave, they uh, they was fighting thousand years, but uh, recently they stopped fighting. They make you European Union and they abolish borders and they uh, control everything with cameras and the police. They even don't need army. 
uh, somebody trick them and uh, invite them <laughs> and start a war. So uh, it's very important to understand uh, why the human beings, why we are people, homo sapiens, like really wise people, why wise people are fighting even more wise and more powerful and uh, why they allow themselves to fight and we cannot go like this uh, to understand this without understanding of uh, religion without understanding our mind that our mind is eternal you know when uh, people understand that uh, all billions understand that uh, we are uh, human beings with eternal mind Nobody will kill each other because if somebody will kill anyone, they will meet in the next world or the eternal world and there will be a problem. And therefore all of these problems, you see them in the news. All these leaders who are speaking right now about uh, all of their resentment from the World War II and what was doing that and that and he. Uh, human beings are, are unprotected from the evil spirits that infiltrate all of this resentment idea in their mind. So this is our global pay chain, global peace building network. We are building substantial peace by praying and uh, mobilizing good world, good uh, ancestors and good thoughts uh, to make good plans and real peace building. Be our goal is uh, uh, model peace community. This kind of community, uh, you know, for now, uh, uh, the and community, nobody take care of uh, anyone. Just everyone want to grab something, as you see in Eastern Europe and other land or other uh, in the Middle East. Uh, they are fighting for the every square meter of the land or other. But God, this, God gives, give this land for free. He for his children to not fight, but to cooperate together. So uh, therefore, we are empower uh, everyone's the race of the model peace community across the globe already start and nobody will came to build peace to you nobody even biden or obama or i don't know other santa claus will not bring uh, the peace and uh, uh, you know in the bag <laughs> um therefore we would build it with our franchise peace ambassador award we award you as a peace ambassador award and we inspire you to award another 400 leaders there in new area this golden percent of population country um, the, the, the starting from the simple businessmen local leaders director of the school university um, uh, religious leaders uh, uh, media leaders stars uh, pop stars uh, and uh, up to presidents and prime ministers everyone award them with the peace ambassador award and once you award them, you are building your network and uh, you will cooperate with ambassadors. You are, you are building your team and you will work with them all your life. And to establish more the peace community from the community that nobody is care for each other, the community that all stakeholders and everyone is caring for each other. And this is the most powerful. Once you will get this victory, request this victory, this uh, model peace community that will be established once and forever with God in the center and direct presence of God will pre uh, pass it to all your children and grandchildren and for thousands and millions and billions years ahead it will be peace and nobody could uh, destroy it even commandos or uh, any other cannot do nothing because you already established it and you build this peace community and therefore, we are going with our Global Peace Building Network Marathon. Um, of course, we do devotions and pray, but uh, substantially, we are uniting people, uniting people, stakeholders and organization uh, that business could give money every month for this Global Peace Building Network and invest substantially, make uh, religious leaders to unite the body of Christ uh, that is separated now in different churches and unite uh, uh, not just Christians, but all believers of all faiths, uh, Muslims and all others, and also not uh, uh, just believers, but even non-believers, because everyone, even scientists and politicians and businessmen are coming daily to our Global Peace Building Network summits that we are doing daily. 
We are doing daily already 1,145th summit row. And you are welcome to join daily um, live in our summit. Or you could um, uh, join at 7 p.m. Uh, say a prayer at 7 p.m. Uh, globally. And once everybody, all the billions, do a prayer at 7 p.m., we are doing a global prayer chain across the globe. So happy welcome. This is our uh, um, mechanism, working mechanism, uh, that you, you know that uh, um, as I said uh, recently, uh, that we're supposed to build the world of peace through truth and spirit. And uh, we have the spirit and we have the truth. And this is the all our trainings about. We are building substantial uh, peace with our trainings and uh, we are so happy have our peace ambassador there, uh, Dr. Asomba. Uh, he is a great uh, leader there, uh, uh, really peace ambassadors. He is uh, uh, helping uh, real substantial uh, with the charity work there uh, and the medical assistance uh, daily and also in the Sundays with the Sunday service and religious service and awarding peace ambassadors and uh, do it in Cameroon and across the whole Africa. So you are so, so lucky that you came here because you could just, you could uh, inherit this, our franchise, with the awarding 430 peace ambassadors, award you stake, uh, stakeholders, there's your leaders there, and work with them to build substantial peace by 2027. Because, uh, as Messiah said, there will not be another time. Now is the time that Heavenly Kingdom already is done. The 12th year just remains for all it belongs, people on the earth, to inherit Heavenly Kingdom in their life, in their family, community, country, the world. You don't need to pass the wars to your children because if you don't build peace, automatically it's coming war, as you see uh, in the news and everywhere. So, therefore, this is vital. This is more powerful. One hour intensive of training that uh, um, Ambassador Asomba with Ambassador Evelyn is doing in Africa. Uh, they are doing this uh, greatest intensive uh, with our global prey uh, chain, global peace building network um, franchise. Uh, that is uh, very intense. We really invite you. Think about yourself, about your life, what you are doing till now and what you do uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow. How you build substantial peace, how you will pass to your children. Uh, there will, there will, is not, uh, um, there is, a, not come, as I said, uh, Santa Claus, you know, from the clouds, or I don't know, and bring peace to your home or your family. But uh, you could build by yourself the, our Peace Ambassadors Award um, franchise. And we have here peace ambassadors that uh, are working on it. Uh, ambassador Asomba, Ambassador Evelyn, um, Ambassador Stefan, and others uh, are so happy to be together and so happy to accelerate uh, uh, building Ultimate Global Peace by 27. You know, many are thinking about that. Okay, Peace 2027. Yeah, yeah, of course, will come Peace 2027. Uh, as people were thinking, yo, I, I was living, you know, in 1990s. And uh, there was a, you know, a thinking, oh my God, in 2000, for sure will came peace. And actually not. Okay, there was uh, September 11 and all these terroristic uh, crazy things, uh, Iraq and all of this. And um, um, Syria came and all of the others, um, Congo and all others. So, um, uh, and uh, people were thinking, you know, globally were thinking, maybe in 2010, maybe in 2020. And 2020 came this war, all this uh, crazy war when where um, you know uh, as we analyze uh, the real situation, um, the all 8 billion plus people on the earth, you know, we are living in this blessed time that God bless us with the technology, and everything what um, human beings are doing is recorded for thousand years ahead. You know, everything you are searching for the for the car, you are searching for something in the internet, right there, the robots. Are, re uh, are recording what you are doing and and far there will be even more and more and more because like uh, how to say <laughs> they're supposed to be angels and there will be robots help the human life to be more easy because God wants to help his children and therefore you know I, I just recently this is one uh, case when um, in the war area one pilot was bombing there and right there next day uh, was a social network his photo his others where he's living, and you know, everything is there, is transparent. So as you understand that uh, now it's coming the time that will be impossible to make sin, impossible to make wars, impossible to make anything, because everywhere is IP cameras, everywhere is, uh, everything is recorded, and we are in this world, and you 
he the pioneers of this world by uh, inheriting Peace Ambassadors Award franchise from us uh, and start awarding you Peace Ambassadors in you area uh, and uh, you you are living where where you are working as uh, Ambassador Asoba is working across the Africa there uh, he's doing his um, service project he's awarding there uh, everywhere Peace Ambassadors in Nigeria and all other countries so uh, same you there is no limits it's up to you how much you will build you could build a small house or you could build a world peace it's up to you there is no limits and the race for the peace 2027 already start for, for how quickly you will build your own model peace community for me too i don't speak about you know fantasy or about like <laughs> um, in the clouds i also awarding peace ambassadors at my local uh, place and also across the globe uh, uh, up to presidents and uh, uh, I just just building substantial peace I never stop like 24 per 7 is going there I open the uh, for the peace ambassadors to empower them happy TV news channel all your projects what you have send to us videos and we will promote you there if you need money we'll also send it there so um, we work in all of these seven area not just interfaith work with interfaith because I said uh, we supposed to unite and truth because only God could help us for the 5% of human potential give 95 of God and uh, by this we could build substantial peace and we are uniting all the religious leaders all the divided uh, uh, body of Christ we are uniting it together across the globe all the Christians all believers and even non-believers all are God's children everyone want to live in peace and uh, God's kingdom uh, there are many you know, I witness people who um, uh, not just for the many say to me uh, they immigrate from Africa to USA and they were thinking there there is oh my god there is almost kingdom they were thinking that uh, I need to run there but actually what they found there uh, almost uh, all family every house have the gun and sometimes children take the gun and shouting everything in the street and even in the church so you are supposed to understand there is no security anywhere security could give us God could protect us from evil thoughts and we could control ourselves and uh, we could uh, inspire this control to build substantial peace in our family community country and world control ourselves uh, to not uh, harm anyone and also in our family to raise love in our community same to make model peace community same with the city country and the world world so this is a, a real substantial uh, peace building is not a fantasy and is not a, um, in the clouds castles is <laughs> real substantial peace building so it's so I'm so happy that uh, we are here, greatest leaders uh, across the globe uh, and uh, across the continents. And uh, you get this idea to that you get it from you. Very um, uh, tough schedule. You, you I know you have children. You have uh, uh, you have relatives. You have uh, your own job. You have but you uh, quit for one hour to join this training of um, um, Dr. Asomba and uh, um, Dr. Um, Ambassador Evelyn. We are so happy that you joined here. So about this building network, I said that we work in seven area uh, that is cover all the area of life and everything for peace <laughs> is uh, interfaith that is covering uniting all people in global marathon, uniting my body of Christ, uniting all believers uh, because believers uh, are bringing the spirit for the humanity and spirit of absolute goodness without any traces of sin. You know, in the religious world, comparing with the countries, uh, everything is very strict. Sin is love of marriage, corruption and stealing, and worse, and love of marriage. Stealing, love of marriage, stealing. There is no, this is the biggest three sins, and it's no uh, anything that uh, any other law that is uh, um, betting people to do. It's very clear in the religious world. And also, a religious world is very inspired to, uh, to make devotions, to pray for the sick, uh, that we are doing daily, and all of this that just absolute goodness without any trace of sin therefore we primary uh, emphasize prayers and devotions and united people even i wrote a book it's called global prayer you know we are human beings we are uh, speaking with ourselves 90 percent of the time during the day all day we speak with ourselves okay i will go there i'll come here why I have this why they'll do this i need to i need to come to the training of the peace ambassadors tonight at uh, 6 p.m gather on time uh, anything all of this we are and um, uh, sometimes something happened in china or somewhere there you are automatically thinking either people you see in the news 
they are hating each other, so they use this uh, anti-prayer. They are hating each other, they say, okay, this country do like this, that capital do like this, and therefore let the bomb be there, all of this. Or they could use as a prayer to pray for them, to pray for the sick. Uh, this God asks us to pray for the sick, to love our enemy. And this is the principle of the universe, universal principle, and this is blueprint for humanity to build social peace. There is no other blueprint. And uh, uh, this is the greatest and most powerful directly from God to build substantial peace. Okay, so we are so happy to be together and rejoice together. And uh, uh, like, uh, therefore, we work with them uh, very much with the religious leaders, that the religious leaders have inspiration and good thoughts and good plans and substantial peace building, substantial kingdom. Uh, second, we work with the uh, people in power. As I said, we are awarding peace ambassadors. And we empower you to award 430 peace ambassadors. And if you really want miracles in your life, you need to award 430 peace ambassadors at your local place. And you'll have 430 friends, 430 team. And, uh, and it, it, it can be 430 plus, so it could be thousands of friends. And, and this will be your team to build substantial peace. Uh, as I said, model peace community. And uh, by this, also empower you peace ambassadors award their own peace ambassadors and by this they are growing the team they, they are working the team and they will be a new network and you will unite organization peace ambassador organizations all of them in global peace building network federation uh, that is uh, a part of the Harry Paris holy community globally that uh, uh, we could go in heaven like that so uh, we receive accreditation that you are peace building organization and you are in the global federation and everyone choose to build peace so uh, therefore, we are awarding stakeholders up to presidents, as I said, I show already the proof and uh, I show them the, the, the we send already to them, we award them and uh, they already receive uh, the presidents of the world, um, uh, the roadmap for peace 2027, uh, how to build peace in my book, uh, message to billions. All my life research, how to build peace from all point of view, like religious, science, uh, historical and all other uh, so we are building substantial peace and happy welcome to this global uh, uh, peace building network uh, federation so second because we work with the religious to unite religious world second is politicians and leaders all leaders and third we are working with the businessmen for peace uniting all businessmen all others like from the agriculture to cosmos everyone are welcome to join our uh, uh, global peace building network by receiving peace ambassador award and invest substantial money and in building peace for their own community that they are doing because god uh, bless uh, one percent of population like billionaires just with one reason to meet messiah coming and build substantial peace by 2027 just like this 24 25 26 27 there is, there is no no we cannot wait that uh, uh, as i explained you people were thinking 2000 2010 and 2000 uh, uh, even the 1990s 2020 people are thinking that will come peace it will not come because nobody is built it if you will build that will be what you will be that will be and then there's no other thing you know if you build your home brick by brick it's by piece award by award the house is done if you don't build it nobody build it so therefore we empower you uh, our the religious leaders um political leaders local leaders um business leaders and media people media leaders uh, both are working with the media, and this is very, very important. Media, I mean everything from culture, uh, music, everything. Uh, because uh, as you see, the, all of these blockbusters from Hollywood and all others, just about fighting, killing, love to marriage, corruption, and stealing. Why people need this? We don't need it. We don't need it because once you show this, you know, there was a, a so-called documentary. Somebody made a documentary how to crack. Uh, two uh, high scrappers in New York and terrorists take and make it so we, you don't need to show the people how to make the all of these words you need to show them in the culture you don't need to show in the in the in the news uh, how uh, this bombing like this like this you're supposed to show the ambassador Evelyn and ambassador Tom um, Tobias uh, and ambassador Stefan how they are built substantial peace they how they are helping real substantial people and carrying them like medically give them life give them um, real substantial health and uh, money and uh, god's word through the sunday service and awarding them a peace ambassadors uh, this is our franchise this is real substantial uh, instrument and like this please award local stars 
uh, pop stars, everyone. Award them and invite them to sing for peace and uh, make poems for peace, uh, movies for peace, everything for peace. All our culture is supposed to be changed from the war culture, peace culture, peace building culture. Okay, fifth, we are working with the uh, education for peace. Most important to educate was first ourselves that we are educated and show example to our children and to everyone who is connected with us. And we uh, working with the institutions, accredit them from the schools to universities and the academies and everyone. We awarded them uh, with a peace ambassador award and accredited them as a, um, a peace building uh, institutions that are that are teaching not how to make weapons, that, but how to and worse, but how to build substantial peace in all area. So education for peace. Sixth is. Uh, uh, we are working with the youth for peace. Youth are uh, most important, our children and grand grandchildren, and uh, every uh, our future generation need to be taught how to build peace. And therefore, this is what we are doing. We inspire them, we educate them, we invite them in this uh, uh, global marathon. Uh, as you saw in the Peace Ambassador Award, uh, is um, planting one billion plus trees uh, to go on the street you know um, the use is very important part in the um, in the building substantial peace as you saw there uh, just recently two months ago uh, in Kenya the generation Z you young people they make a revolution just because Prime Minister want to raise the taxes uh, to make his salary bigger but uh, there is a billions of youths don't have to something to eat or how to raise they have the institution finish but they don't have job so uh, therefore use came against government because the government supposed to empower us and this is our we are doing this education uh, five-year contract every government each uh, um, local leaders and use how to um, became real uh, peace leaders and how to make straighten the families Oh, it's very important to straighten the families because um, uh, I did an analyze, you know, as you see, Africa and Asia, many people die from AIDS. And uh, Africa and Asia have 70, some countries, 75% of the, the population is young population. So you suppose to understand there is just children and youth and grandparents because their parents, all this generation between, die because of AIDS. And uh, we are educating children and youths and the local leaders with the five-year contract in every country and government uh, teach our um, global peace building network uh, uh, programs, we educate leaders, make strong families, strong families that is uh, um, really stay together, a husband and wife and never divorce. Is a strong families that is raising love and by raising this love and receive the marriage blessing of the from God from the Messiah and coming they could build substantial peace and third we educate youths in this uh, five-year contract to the governments or to empower them with the entrepreneurship that everyone make business and uh, they uh, are helping their communities by their business and by this is building model peace community and seventh is most important is a charity for peace we are awarding uh, uh, leaders of all organizations that are doing charities uh, to work together and make one global you know charity fund for peace 2027 uh, this is shortly uh, about uh, global peace building network presentation and about interfaith and why interfaith is very cooperation is very important for all area of life in today's world and how the world of peace is already come to you and you just could inherit it our peace ambassador franchise and move it forward to build peace in your family community country and the world uh, this was shortly dear ambassador evelyn and dr asomba a short presentation about global peace building network and about interfaith uh, cooperation we are working we have real results uh, are working uh, with 150 country plus ambassadors and we are awarding uh, uh, recently 90 uh, presidents in 90 countries and moving on and we are moving on you know we are doing every year summit, summit for peace 
the Spring for Peace Global Prayer Chain and once per month big summit where we invite all stakeholders to say their uh, word and this next one will be 24th of October uh, the greatest and biggest um, um, summit where you are welcome to say one minute word in the world and uh, because 24th uh, October is a United Nations um, day and also United Nations Global Disarmament Week. So we are moving forward and we are not just uh, um, shouting out the most powerful uh, um, global peace building network uh, that is more powerful than life and death, more powerful than wars, as I uh, explained till now. It's just peace building that almost nobody was doing till now, but now we are doing it and building peace that is more powerful than wars. And uh, you are so happy to be here together as a pioneers and you could be first to build a substantial peace for the peace community a new community and pass it to children and also for the global peace as uh, Ambassador Asoma always warn us the war world is in the kind of stupid uh, situation for the third world war so therefore we're supposed to understand it and make concrete actions and therefore as you heard the message here share this message I received the Peace Ambassador Award uh, from uh, our Peace Ambassadors, from us. We are open 24 per 7 in our WhatsApp. Just call us and chat us there if you need any help. Uh, that uh, how you could build substantial peace. Um, uh, Ambassador Stephen in Uganda, we are doing great project there. We are uh, planning to educate in use for peace and awarding them as a Peace Ambassador Awards. And all others who are coming here, you are welcome uh, in any stage you are receive or to pass peace ambassador awards and grow really big you could be really big you may say you may say thousands of excuses but um, I could uh, say say you about uh, the greatest historical fact there was 12 people uh, almost vagabonds but uh, they in the 2000 years they build world of brotherhood democracy and this was 12 apostles of Jesus so you're supposed to understand it doesn't matter which situation you are maybe you don't have any money nothing to eat or something like this we're supposed to be like you said uh, think about kingdom and build it uh, don't think what to eat and where to sleep build the kingdom as soon you will build as soon as nobody will build it for you and therefore we empower you every day every hour every second and uh, happy welcome chat us anytime for for the help we could we could not help you with the money as uh, we are volunteers all our but we are working with a peace ambassador award and you could award you local businessmen and they could donate you every month's money for you to build substantial peace there with god's help shortly is like this uh, dr asomba maybe you want to add something and evelyn to say about the training what is the next day when do we meet next day uh, and uh, how what is the link to uh, register another participants. Happy welcome, Doctor Asamba. On the microphone, or Evelyn. Evelyn. Thank you very much, uh, Doctor Nick, for this wonderful <laughs> concept. I very much appreciate your effort so far. Yes, uh, the world is a third world war. We need peace in all levels. We need concept of peace from all levels so that we can together make things happen. Uh, peace is what we need. We don't need war. And each and everyone need peace. Even those who have been fighting war, they need peace. And a peace is left for a particular level. Each and everyone need peace and can contribute to bring peace. Fine, you said we are volunteers. That's fine. And uh, we also have entities, UN agencies, and uh, schools, hospitals, needing peace, wanting peace. And uh, why in US, peace is needed. In Europe, peace is needed. Asia, Africa, peace is needed. So, we don't leave this concept of peace for a particular group of people, but each and, each and everyone concerned. And you know, right in the grassroots, there's peace. The, the whole world today is in chaos. And if we are not careful, if we are not setting this alarm, if I'm not calling this, uh, this concept of peace for each and everyone to take note of it, then I'm fooling myself. Because we, as I said, we are the brink of third world war we can lose so many things so many lives if the weapons of uh, nuclear weapons is detonated at one point in time 
we shall all not be fine at this point in time speaking like so we need to call each and everyone to come on board to join the peace concert to work for peace if you are a dancer dance for peace if you are if you are a medic medic for peace if you are a teacher teach for peace no conflict in school is allowed and so each and everyone on board said bit of peace thank you very much nick i think uh, my day of facilitation will be coming from today i watch from the agenda when am i going to facilitate i think i have some courses to run to speak yeah. of or to facilitate upon and uh, i think yeah. uh, i believe we will be sharing it uh, thank you very much yeah ambassador Swamba, uh, what time yeah ambassador Uh, uh, is uh, not uh, a concept is real substantial mechanism to build real peace we don't think we are, we are now at the stage that uh, this mechanism is working in all countries and you see there a new local place and this initiative as a training globally also is uh, you is working to build substantial peace so we are not having just concept or just goal peace 2027 we are building it daily every day every half second okay evelyn please turn on the microphone and speak okay thank you very much dr nicola thank you for the presentation it was really wonderful god has called us in all aspects of life and in that aspect where god has called you is very important that you use that to see how you can bring peace to your community and that peace has to start from within you to your to your family your community the society the nation and the world at large we are so happy for the great presentation that you have done this evening we are grateful and uh, we we are going to right now maybe be giving the time for those who want have questions to ask please i'm sure this is a time for you to raise the questions that are bothering you concerning this presentation if there's anything please just un unmute your mic and ask your question the ceo is there to answer to you thank you very much yeah ambassador stefan Uh, Ambassador Stefan, could you turn on the microphone and ask uh, questions or, or say you situation how is there in Uganda? Thank you very much, members. You're welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. We are fine. Uh, and uh, yesterday so we receive god's blessing so we are moving with the youth training them guiding them how to work and uh, this week uh, they are moving let me say the whole of this month as christian It's a month of the Holy Rosary, communicating with God through our Mother Mary. You are moving around in families to pray for peace in families. And various activities also we are moving with it, agricultural work, uh, training and the technical or vocational skills we are empowering them we space we space our time we can use one hour for skilling we go for prayer program one hour or two hours that is how we are uh, moving throughout the day activities Thank you very much. You are most welcome. Those who have joined us today. Thank you Let very us much. join together. Thank you. Please, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador Stephen. Thank you very much. Uh, as I know uh, from your uh, reports, uh, you are doing great as our Global Peace Building Network partner there, uh, doing agriculture, teaching youth agriculture, and uh, educating uh, children not just about God's word, but about literacy and all other. So um, <coughs> we are so happy to be together, so happy that you are building there locally for the peace community, all stakeholders. Please keep, keep awarding peace ambassadors, local peace ambassadors there, and really build substantial peace there.
Uh, across Uganda. Uh, okay. Um, um, Judith, want to ask something? Or uh, Hermin, or Willem, uh, or uh, Ter Teref, Terville Foundation? So, Dr. Gomez, Dr. Gomez, Felicia. But we want to hear from you also. We understand that you have been working with an NGO called Tefel. We want to hear how far you have been doing and uh, how this peace program is going to help you more into what you have been doing. Please, over to you, Dr. Gomez, Felicia. Dr. Felicia. Okay, so let's see if her network has been disturbing since this afternoon. Madam Judith, please, you have something to say or a question to ask? Please, over to you. Unmute your. Your mic, unmute your mic. We can't hear you. Thank you very much. Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah, we are getting me. Okay, is it okay now? Okay. It's okay now, right? Okay, Madam Madam Gomez is as if she wants to talk also. Yeah, speaking... yeah, I'm trying to ask students. Against I mean student knowing that if I hit a friend, if I insult a friend, it's not good. It starts from the school. 
So I've tried, we have um, created some uh, peace clubs in schools. And then for the women and the youth who are doing empowering activities, because no matter what you say or what you do, if a woman cannot put food on the table, it becomes a problem. Especially we are, we are in the area of the crisis, it becomes a problem. So we've been doing a lot of uh, empowering activities, empowering women, empowering youth, because most of the youth are involved in this crisis and involved in the conflict that is going on like in Cameroon. So we're trying to get them empowered because if they are empowered, they get busy and there'll be no time to go about doing uh, things, I mean, destruction and all of that. As he said that, uh, I mean, if, if a busy, I mean, they, they, they need to be busy to occupy them. Yeah, thank you very much. It's so powerful. The youth, getting them more. engaged, getting them involved in activities. Okay. Yeah, Hello. Hello. You want to say something more? No, it's okay. We are, we are working more on empowering of youths. I heard like that talking of prayers. Prayers is normal in our schools. Prayers is a normal thing we do every day. And in our churches, we try to like we use situations like in meeting houses. We use situation in our meeting houses to talk about peaceful engagement um, uh, in, in the country. So we use meeting houses, then we are training the youth, we are train, empowering the youth, empowering the women. And then at the level of children in school, we are creating peace clubs. That's what we have been doing so far. So wonderful, so good. So good, thank you so very much. Uh, this I want to, uh, to thank you very much and uh, show this uh, is a real peace building. It's not a concept. It's very good that you already practiced it and empower. Uh, please keep going with the Peace Ambassador Award, you uh, local leaders there, and uh, going there. As I said, um, as we work in seven area, um, uh, interfaith, uh, political, business, you could do all of this to, for any one of it, like peace clubs, uh, youth clubs, uh, education uh, institutions, uh, anything. Uh, business for peace uh, just anything what uh, god give you talent to do education for peace as we have um, ambassador asomba he is a great philanthrope and he is doing charity project there and teaching words of god and all of this you know uh, god empower him like this and he is doing like that and uh, ambassador evelyn and uh, um uh, Terville foundation you are so so good to uh, what you are doing in the church and every every everywhere there be, uh, we need uh, really to uh, world peace ambassadors local stakeholders and unite together in organizations and businesses and um, in clubs use clubs you said and churches everything need to be united unite all organization everything in one global marathon and the stream for peace <laughs> A river for peace that is going to ocean heavenly kingdom yeah evelyn uh loom hermine you want to say something uh, and uh, who was there judith, uh, I'm judith. yes thank you very much yeah please thank speak you. judith thank you very much yes thank you very much are you getting me yes yes we can hear you very good okay thank you thank you it is a very wonderful program because we have a lot of challenges in the society today, especially working with women in the rural areas and even in urban areas. We have this challenge of peace. There is a lot of uh, uh, arguments. There is a lot of problems with women, with youths in the church, with even uh, adults in the church. And working with these groups, I always work with uh, groups of women, raw women and urban women. And we are trying to see how to create self-employment so that it gives us that ability of living in peace. Because we all know that when there is poverty, there is war. There are challenges. Where there is poverty, there is hatred. There's a lot of war. So we make things work with groups of women that we are working in schools. For example, I have my own school. I make, I create a lot of activities that will bring peace, harmony within the staff and the people to learn from us how to live in peace. And so we all know that 
when we are employed, there is no moment of thinking about hatred or jealousy that that can lead to 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 to, to war or to hate to to other activities that will bring disturb our peace. So the, what we have now is looking forward to see how I can improve on those activities that will make everyone self-employed and that will bring peace to our community. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Ambassador Judith. So good to hear from you. Yes, uh, we have the uh, Peace Ambassador's uh, curriculum and we could give you to you. So just contact us and uh, we will uh, send you the uh, peace uh, curriculum how you could educate your children even more to next level that they could become peace leaders <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much for that offer You're thank welcome. you i hope evelyn will, do it. evelyn will make me have it because we are together in cameroon yes it's okay all right thank you very much Okay. Yeah, Evelyn, is there somebody to speak? Uh, uh, Hermine, want to speak? Is there anybody who wants to speak? Okay. It's like nobody's, nobody has. Okay, Evelyn, can you conclude the, the meeting, say, about the next program, next uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow? When will be next program? Who will speak? All right, sir. Um, tomorrow... So we are to hear from Dr. Asamba, Dr. Asamba on the topic, tomorrow is the third, on the topic, Peace, Ambassadors and Humanitarian Roles in Conflict Crisis. We are hearing from him on that topic, and on the, we are going to be hearing from me on effective leadership and integrity building for peace. So it's good we come in time as today. We don't even know if we'll meet again on Google Meet on WhatsApp. It all depends. Yeah, it all depends. So so that is it for, for today. Dr. Asamba, we don't know if you have anything else, please. Yeah, as we start our education program in the beginning of the year, it's very good to that we continue it. We call it one year PhD program. So we, uh, we are meeting uh, daily with this education and we are so happy to be together with Cameroon family, Cameroon Peace Building, and let's work every day. Uh, we will be very happy to listen uh, tomorrow, Ambassador Asomba, and uh, go with the Peace Ambassador's um, uh, one-year program that you will really will have in one year your own team own team of stakeholders like businessmen and local leaders and others that will support you to build substantial peace just award them and we will teach you how to do it and let's analyze daily results how many peace ambassadors you award today and how you plan tomorrow to award another one and the enroll them in this uh, global peace building uh, marathon real substantial peace building yeah evelyn Yeah, if, if we finish everyone, uh, please turn on your microphones and cameras and say bye-bye in your language. And let's meet tomorrow at one more hour of intensive. Okay, bye-bye, okay. okay, Ambassador Asomba. Bye-bye, Ambassador Evelyn. Bye-bye, Ambassador Judith. Bye-bye, Ambassador... Okay, Good night.